Hello, welcome back to Divine Radio for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Today we're going to be going for one of my favorite Pokemon, a silly Pokemon that I, you, once you look at too many compilations on YouTube, it starts to become a little very silly, like when you keep saying the same word over and over again. Today we're going to be going for Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet has a 22% carry, can be found at Lake Verity, and I'll show you exactly where, because that might be a bit confusing for some of the people who aren't too familiar with this game and how the lakes areas work. Um, this is a Poké Radar exclusive Pokemon, which means you do need to have obtained the Poké Radar, which means you beat the game and you have completed the regional Pokedex, obtained the Poké Radar. So we're going to start in Twin Lift City. Uh, some prereqs, you do need a Pokemon that knows Surf, that is one of the biggest things, and you need the Poké Radar with, uh, I use the Repel now, but you can use one later, it doesn't matter. So we're going to head over there. And with a Pokemon that knows Surf in our party, this will make things easier. And I do like Wobbuffet. It is not the best Pokemon for competitive. I'm pretty sure it's banned too because of uh, Counter and Mirror Coat being extremely broken. But uh, in terms of Shiny, I think it's a very nice Shiny. I really like that purpleness of it. it uh, it's a very unique purple you don't see too often. So we're going to go on the lake. We're going to head this way. And right here, like I promised, there's a patch of grass that was made for Poke Radar. Very nice patch of grass here. All right, we're going to head forward and uh, do our best. So something I noticed, I might as well mention now, that if you're having trouble finding the Pokemon we're going for, the more rare ones, the uh, exclusive ones, you saw here that there was two different patterns of shake. There was one with like this kind of uh, the white stuff. I would say it's like sparkly, but that's not sparkle. It, it's like that white stuff shined, or uh, kind of moved, and then you had the regular patch of grass move. If you go into the one that moves a bit, I feel like that one might have better odds of encountering the Pokemon you're looking for, or, or however that works, right? I'm not sure, but I had more luck in those. So, regardless, good luck. Like I said, first encounter level 3 Wobbuffet. Very cool looking Pokemon. Alright, we're going to Fall Swipe now. And that should bring it down to 1 HP since it is level 3, which is kind of... It's kind of funny, wouldn't you say, that uh, Wobbuffet comes at level 3 like this. It makes it easier to um, do encounters for. Alright, so we're just going to capture it. And uh, again, I don't think anyone's really going to use Wobbuffet on their team. It only knows Mirror Coat Encounter, Safeguard, and uh, something else that doesn't do damage. But um, it's very difficult to level a Wobbuffet up because you're always taking damage throughout your entire game, right? And uh, the whole point of the game is you want to one-hit KO things and you want to move on to the next one. But healing every single time is kind of annoying. And you have to predict what the other person is going to move or what their move is going to be. So anyway, that's it for Wobbuffet. Thank you for watching. Me, Stu Doom, for whatever pose next. See ya.